Hello and welcome. My name is Jude. I am the ops manager of Bulk Discounts Now, a Shopify app that provides quantity discounts or quantity breaks or a volume discounts. So this app increases your sales or your AUV and it's pretty easy to install and use. Now I'm going to give you a bit of a brief explanation of what our pricing plan is because I've seen a lot of questions or inquiries going on here. Um, when you've installed our app, uh, you're subscribing to a free plan. Now under a free plan, you're only allowed to create one discount offer or one discount group on, with a singular product limit. This goes for the rest of your days, <laughs> basically forever. But if you want to have all these amazing features such as uh, discount code, um, implementation or currency converter compatibility, unlimited discount groups and such, you're ought to subscribe into a paid plan. Now this is where everybody gets confused. All of them shows the same features, but I tell you, there's a difference here. The difference is your Shopify subscription level. Now, if you're on a Shopify basic plan, then this is your monthly charge. If you're on a Shopify standard plan, this is your monthly charge. Basically all of them have all, they all have these premium features. The difference again is just your subscription level. Does that make sense? Okay, now let's go ahead and move to our mission. So my mission here is to guide you or help you set up your first bulk discount. And I wanted to create one for this particular product on our demo store. So DJI Osmo Pocket doesn't have any offers here, but I want to have some offers for this upcoming Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is go into settings. This is our dashboard, by the way. And go to install and uninstall, and then choose your theme. Now in my case, I am on my debut theme, so I've chosen debut, uh, hit install, and then hit save. I'm not gonna do that again, but just in case your app or your theme is not included in the list, just go ahead and choose the default. Never ever choose none, okay? This has its own purpose, which I'm gonna explain in a further videos, in a future videos, but not for now. Just choose the default. Now after that, you hit save, go to discount group, and since you're on a free plan, assuming you're on a free plan, you're only allowed to create one discount group okay so create one and on a free plan i don't think you can do all products and collection you can only do a selected products to be discounted option here which is what i'm going for right now okay you click on that search for your product in my case my dji dji rather check this one hit add go to next step now again this is what our page look like um, and this is the discount table it already shows you what the discount table will look like and on this second step you are to choose what discount should based on um, I'm gonna base mine on a products quantity if you're unsure of what this means just hit, hover over this little question mark icon here and it should explain in detail what it does okay and then after that you choose whether you you like to be you like to provide a percentage discount or a fixed amount i'm gonna go ahead and just use percentage um so if they have five quantity of the selected products i'm gonna give them uh 10 percent and if i go 10 i'm gonna give them 15 percent mm let's hit, let's put another one if they buy 20 i'm gonna get 30. sounds fair right <laughs> so i'm gonna hit next now for this one um you're basically just gonna enable the discount group and put some discount title and description and you're good to go so let's put mine as say um bfcm and buy more save more as my description now if you don't want this one to appear just clear this field and it's fine clear this field it's fine but 
I highly recommend adding some more details here. Let's buy more, save more. Um, hmm. Now this checks checkbox right here only indicates whether you want the table to be shown in your product page or not. So I, I want that to show, so I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna uncheck this as well. This only hides this column and show discounted price. Yeah, let's try and hide that. Hit finish. And we are live. So again, this is our discount group title, if you can remember, the Black Friday Cyber Monday abbreviation. Um, let's try and refresh the page. By the way, I'm not editing this video. So if I encounter any issues, you're gonna have to stick with me while I fix the issue. Uh, well, guess not. So this is what it looks like. So if I buy, buy five, I get 10% off, 10, 15% off, 20, 30% off. Now the display, um, you might be wondering how I come up with this display is I've added some sort of uh, CSS codes in the display tab. So you go to settings, go to display tab, and from here you can modify your tables, how it looks, how it displays your, your infos, your table styling, and all those kind of stuff and if you have a developer with you or if you have some sort of knowledge with CSS then you can definitely modify or improve the looks of your table so right here is my code if you want this code I'm gonna send you this just see my e our emails below this video in the description but let's go ahead and try adding this to cart uh, look at that, I already have six. View cart. Please, all right, I see. What if I ch change this to one? See that. So this is part of our app, encouraging your customers to buy more. Let's, let's put five, which should provide me with a 10% discount. Or is it five? How about six? I think, I guess I put six. Let me check that again. No, oh, it should be five. But yeah, you see it's working here, but let me go back and check that one more time. Do this. Yeah it's working great so this is the, our first step is setting this up so if by any chance that it, this doesn't work after following my instruction just leave a message or leave a comment and I'm gonna by the way I'm just gonna leave all our our email address our support informations down in the description below so thank you and talk to you soon